You welcome to Slay the Spire. Today playing the daily challenge for August 12th, 2021. The character of the defect and the modifier are specialized. Start with five copies of a single card. Purple cards, purple cards are appearing rewards in shops. And big game hunter, elite enemies are now swarming the spire and drop better rewards. Better rewards meaning rare cards only. I don't see any familiar names on the top 20, although this is early in the day, so maybe not everybody had a time, uh, had a chance to play yet. Let's also review my score from yesterday. I thought I did pretty well, but I, okay, I ended up 21st, so just barely past the, oh, look at that, I'm actually tied with a bunch of people, 1738. No, okay, but we are all, we all are tied at uh, 24th to 25th place. Uh, yeah, Steven down here, he left a comment yesterday, Ignatio left a comment. Thanks everybody for who left the comment, I, I was very excited to read. I thought I did really well, but yeah, clearly some people are able to do a little better. Um, I think yesterday I perfected everything, right? Yeah. Anyway, let's move on to today's run. So special card, purple card, specialized purple cards, and became hunter. So five copies of Just Lucky. That's probably one of the better cards I can get, right? It's zero cost, allows me to scry, allows me to um, get a little bit of block, a little bit of damage. Pretty, pretty neutral card. Let's take it. Um, now, I will probably, I don't think, so I think it was either yesterday or two days ago where I removed a bunch of duplicates and went for, yeah, two days ago, went for the Highlander, even though I had specialized, but I think this time I'll try to go for collector bonuses, mostly because every elite is going to give me a rare card, and if I have access to purple cards, I mean, going for a bunch of omniscients and wishes is probably going to be the best. Let's see, do I see a five elite path? I definitely see a few four elite paths. Nope, no five elite paths, which is fine. So up until this point, I can get two elites. And then after this point, if I stick on the left, I'll get two more elites with the question mark. Yep, and a late shop, possibly. I can also avoid it. Up until this point, if I go on the left, I can do one, two, three, four question marks. If I go on the right, I'll be much less. Yeah, so I do want to maximize question marks as well. Let me just make sure. One, two, three, right? No better way. Okay. All right, so uh, first few hallway fights will be a little difficult. I think once I start getting my elites and my rare cards, I should be in a much better spot. Okay. All right, six incoming. I can dual cast, strike, and then just lucky three times. Yeah, the scrying might just make things take longer than they usually do. Oh, look at that. I can actually fully defend here thanks to the scries. Okay. And then here I can kill. Okay. Got an Entropic Brew early on, that's really good. And then, yeah, I wouldn't mind having a Frost Orb just for a little bit of block. Okay, here I can do Dual Cast, and yep, I was hoping it would hit the Frontliner. Okay, Cold Snap is fine next turn. And then here, Cold Snap, just lucky one, just lucky two. And then I can do Zap and Defend, all right. And then any decent attack will kill next turn, yep. Okay. All right, Windmill Strike, go for the Ice Stack. So not a huge fan of any of these. I'm thinking of taking Windmill Strike just because it might grow to deal a lot of damage. And I do have the go, uh, go Hexagos at the end, so maybe I should take the Go for the Ice instead. Let's do Go for the Ice, sure, why not? Okay. Uh, yep, there is curse number one, as well as the oof, tiny chest. Every fourth question mark room is a treasure room. Now, the reason that's not amazing is because that means I won't be guaranteed a bunch of, uh, well, I mean, I won't get a lot of curses, but who knows whether I would have been able to get curses anyway. I think yesterday was an example of um, me not taking a curse key and then, yeah, basically not getting any curses on Acts 2 and 3, more or less. Mm-hmm. And then here I can do Cold Snap, Strike, and then kill this guy with the um, Just Luckies. Okay. All right, got an Ancient Potion, Crescendo. I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, well, hang on. The problem with Crescendo is I need some good attack damage before I actually pick it up. But since I don't have any other way to enter Wrath, let's take it. Okay, Melter would have been another good option. All right, remove Transformer Upgrade. I think... I think I can safely transform a Just Lucky because I already have five copies. I only need four. Got a Steam Barrier. Okay, not exactly what I wanted, but fine. All right, Grumman Knob. So I am seriously considering entering Wrath here. Um, I mean, I, I think I should risk it. Yeah, let's do Crescendo, Zap, and uh, Cold Snap. Okay. I mean, it's it's impossible, almost impossible for me to perfect unless I use the uh, Entropic Brew. Should I use the Entropic Brew? Let me play these first. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, I mean, what could it give me? I mean, if it gives me a stance shift potion, that's fine. No, you know what? I think it's fine. I'll take the damage. Yeah. 
If it gave me an attack potion, that might have been good too. It's okay. Alright, didn't perfect this one. We got incense burner. Every six turns, gain one intangible. That's really good to get this early on. And then I will take an omniscience, um, hoping to get something to actually omniscience, because right now I don't actually have anything. I can't even afford to play the omniscience, unless I upgrade. Here, I'll take some gold for HP. And then sentries. Yeah, with... Um, hang on. Uh, I mean... No, I should keep the entropic potion for a fight where I actually have a chance of perfecting. So if the Entropic would give me like a weakness potion, I would have been able to fully defend. But let's, let's not do that. Um, let's attack this guy. Okay, Steam Bear is actually pretty good next turn. All right. And then another zap. Hmm. All right. And then here I have 18. Yeah, look at that. I can't even play the omniscience until it's upgraded. Let's do dual cast Steam Barrier and then double strike. Okay, I'm definitely taking a lot of damage here. Hmm. And then I definitely can't do Crescendo here. Let's double defend and then do it just lucky. All right. Also not super happy with how much HP I'm losing here. Um, all right. So at least I can kill this guy. And then I can fully defend. Or not fully, but I can defend a little bit with the uh, block card there. And then I do have Incense Burner triggering next turn. So as long as I can defend this turn. Let's do Cold Snap. Just lucky. And get rid of the Dazed. And... Uh, Wow, yeah, I am taking a bunch of damage. Still have two elites coming up and no rest sites. Hopefully I'll be able to gain some health from somewhere. Let's do zap and then strike. Okay. Should I have considered playing the crescendo? That might have been an option. Um, so, okay. I don't know if I should do crescendo now. No, actually I can fully defend, right? So let's not even worry about crescendo. Strike is good next turn. And then, actually, you know what? Next turn I can kill with the Crescendo and Strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I just need another Strike to kill the turn after. Yeah, Crescendo, Strike, and just lucky. Alright. Yeah, definitely wasn't able to perfect this one. We got a Lizard Tail. Whenever you die, heal to 50% of your max HP instead. Works only once. It's actually really good, and the Block Potion is really good as well. Eva Form, All for One, Master Reality. You know what? I have a lot of Zero Cost cards. Let's take the All for One. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got letter opener. Every time play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. And then I'm turning left, right? Yeah, that gives you an extra question mark room and a potential shop. Um, why did I pick up an initiative? <laughs> I can't really use it, right? Um, let's do... I mean, yeah, the only thing I can do is just double cold, uh, cold step and strike here. Okay. All right, I have 14 incoming. Let's do go for the ice. And then that's down to 10. Just lucky zap is not necessary next turn. And uh, if I do Steam Barrier, I won't be able to fully defend, so... I mean, I should still do it, I think. Yep, fine. Again, could have used the potion, but I think I'll keep it for something I'm more likely to guarantee to be able to perfect. Uh, let's do Dual Cast, just lucky. Um, don't need to defend, actually. We'll try to kill next turn. Crescendo might be useful, yep. And then I'll do a Strike. Okay. Can I deal 18 damage next turn? Seems doable. Actually, I'm intangible here anyway. Uh, yeah, let's do Crescendo all for one. That's enough. Good. We got Pendip. Every 10th attack you play, deals double damage. As well as... Uh, I guess I can do Deus Ex Machina. That would help me be able to actually play the Omniscience. Um, or Deva Form. Yeah, let's take Deva Form. Uh, yeah, that one That one was a tough decision. Uh, well, I would die if I put two random cards here, so I can't do that, unfortunately. And then here, I could go for a rest stride, but I do have the Lizard Tail, right? I feel a little confident here. Alright, Sentries again. Didn't get the Lagavulin, and especially since I think the Lagavulin would have given me probably the best chance. Uh, let's go for the ice here, okay. So I do have a block push, and I think I'll use it because I do want to keep the Lizard Tail. Is there... Oh, actually, I still have at least one more fight, so I'll try to get the Incense Burn to good value in that upcoming fight. Um, so let's see. Um, I think I'm dead here, right? No, I'm not. I'm still barely alive, right? So I can do just lucky. You'll cast this fine, then double defend. And then I cannot do crescendo. All right. Mm -hmm. And then here. Oh, here I'm dead, right? Unless, hang on, 24. Okay, you know what? Let's just try this. Um, I can do crescendo. Then, uh, was that a mistake? That might have been a mistake because... I don't have a way to exit Wrath. So that might have been a big mistake. I still have an all for one, right? So that should hopefully help. Okay. 
So that plus a just lucky will kill this guy. Okay. And then I can do go for the one cold snap and uh, a double damage. Just lucky. All right. So well, wasn't able to uh, perfect, but also didn't die yet. We got the boot. One of you deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five, as well as an energy potion, which you know what? I'm going to take for against the ancient potion. Buffer is good. Um, probably don't need hyper beam. Amplify. I mean, I, yeah, probably not necessary. Let's go with the buffer. All right. And then I do have a lot of gold. I am worried of dying too. Let's go for the shop here. Okay, probably don't want to do our Calcum with all the awful ones I have, right? Not awful ones, the uh, just luckies I have. So instead, do I want to do Storm? I could make this a power deck. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll take Storm. Um, do I want Juju Beast? I know my enemy comments are long encounter in question mark rooms. Not a bad idea, especially since I'm not feeling great about the other cards. So let's definitely take the uh, empty body as well. And then I think I'm good. Yeah, let's probably don't need the rebound. Let's save the gold for the next shop. Okay, so ideally I would get... Oh, never mind. Against the looter, I can't actually get the instance burner to good value anyway. Ideally, it would be at four, right? Uh, which I don't think I can do. That's unfortunate. But oh, I, at least I'm low on HP anyway. Let's double defend and then strike. Okay. All right, here I'm intangible. Good. Uh, well, if I do the buffer... Um, hang on. I will die here, right? I have to do the buffer, because I'll take two damage exactly. All right, fine. Let's do buffer and then strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then he's not attacking good. I can do crescendo. Uh, does it make sense to do the alpha one? I don't have any zero, uh, zero cost cards. So instead, let's do dual cast and strike. Okay. And then here I can do um, just lucky. And another just lucky to kill. Okay. All right. Down to one HP. Uh, let's see. Sweeping me wallop is great. Boot sequence is probably not necessary. Let's take the wallop. Then the worry is what if I get the regret before the attack? Because then I'll heal. But let's get the first. Let me also operate the omniscience. Yeah, I think I'll be necessary. Okay. All right, Hexagos. Let's see what you got. Um, I actually wouldn't mind playing the buffer here. Let's do that. And then just lucky... Empty body is fine for block next turn. Another just lucky, same. And then a strike. Okay. All right, so six incoming. Uh, I do have the regret. I can't fully defend with the empty body, yeah. So wait, is there anything I need to omniscience? I could omniscience a wallop, but no, no. I think I'll just do um, storm and empty body and nothing else. Okay, that's why I'm still alive, good. I do have to start worrying about damage though. Sooner or later, at least. I don't think I can do Deva form here, right? Yeah, I can't. Um, that means I will lose it, but not much I can do about that. Unless, actually... Fine, let me drink the energy potion, do the Deva form, and then I can still do defend, just lucky. Go for the S is fine. Uh, oh, did I just waste double damage there? I might have. All right, fine. Okay. And then I'm intangible here anyway. Let's do go for the ice, a dual cast... Uh, zap, cold snap, and strike. Okay. Actually, having that cold snap is very useful. Hmm. Another six. Uh, yeah, all for one is great here, right? Let's do that. Okay. And then go for the ice, just lucky. Yeah, each just lucky deals a good amount of damage thanks to the boot, right? Well, five damage to be exact. Uh, I think, wait, am I getting, yeah, I think, I forget. Am I getting attacked next turn? I don't think so, right? Let's get rid of the steam barrier. Okay. Again, wasting double damage there, and I can do wallop and strike. All right. Hmm. Yeah, not getting attacked here. Um, let's do burn. I do have a frost orb against the burn. Let's instead do dual cast, zap, strike, and go for the ice. Okay. Hmm. 14. Okay, so I can omniscient a defensive card, right? Uh, or I can omniscient to wallop. That seems like a better idea. Let's do that. Uh, hang on. Uh, before I do that, though, ooh, I could actually enter Wrath for that, right? Because it'll be double played, so that'll be uh, 18 times... Well, 18... No, hang on. That's not going to be enough. Uh, no, wait. It's 18... If I'm in Wrath, it'll be 18 times 2. Actually, I'm going to die from the regret, right? I have to trigger the Lizard Tail. So, um, yeah, I think I can do that. Uh... Wait, no, what am I saying? It'll be 9 times 2 times 2, so 36. I'm, I'll am i be getting attacked for 24, so I think I should be good as long as I can get rid of the block, which I can by doing crescendo, then strike. 
then omniscience the uh, wallop. I hope I calculated that correctly, right? 14, 28. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, and then might as well do the defend. Okay. All right. Yep. Triggered the lizard tail. That's fine. Um, and then here I can just kill, right? One, two, and double damage. Awesome. All right. Perfect this one. Technically I entered the fight with one HP, so that was that was ballsy. But yeah, I had a I had a good relic here. All right. There's the wish. Now I can do omniscient's wish at least. That's good. Let's take it. I also wouldn't mind the extra energy. Don't want to take Sozu or Runic Dome. Let's go with the Slaver's Caller. Doing boss in elite combats. Gain extra energy at the start of your turn. Okay. All right. So, Bronze Automaton at the end. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I only see a four elite path. No five elite path again. Yeah, fine. Uh, in terms of question mark rooms, if I stick on the left, I can do one, two, three four question marks and then on the right side it's one two actually the right side doesn't have a four elite path just the left side right yeah so up until this point the better path is going this way yeah three question marks and after this point on the left i'll get another two whereas on the right i'll just get one extra question mark so yeah let's do that okay i'll be intangible next turn should i just do crescendo is that too 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 direct to bold um i could also just wish for gold here right you know what? Let's wish for gold. Why not? Let's be greedy. Uh, cold Snap is good next turn. Okay. Mm hmm. Intangible here. Let's do just lucky. Probably don't need the strike here. Yeah. Let's do Cold Snap all for one. And then I'll do two more just luckies. Okay. Okay. Next turn, though, that's when I needed intangibility because I have 20 incoming. I could do buffer. Uh, I don't think I can fully defend. Actually, I can, right? If I do Steam Barrier, Empty Body, and Buffer. That way I don't take any damage. Missions is great. Okay. Mm, and then what would I omniscience? Uh, again, actually, no, not Wallop. That's not going to help. I could omniscience dual cast. That will deal enough damage. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Actually, hang on. Uh, the enemy has 45. If I dual, uh, if I double play the... Um, actually, I don't have energy for a Crescendo. Yeah, fine. Uh, let's just omniscience the... Um, also do Deva form. Let's just do the dual cast. Okay. And then I can do go for the ice. Just lucky. Alright, probably don't need to defend next turn. Okay. You have double damage. Um, yeah, I was hoping for the wallop. That's unfortunate. Not enough, though. Only give me three block. Uh, wait, if I do crescendo, it'll be uh, much more than that, right? 36. And that's enough. Okay, good. Alright. We got a block potion, which I already have. Uh, talk to the end is great. I should take that, yeah. Even though I'm trying to get collector bonus, it's a great card. We got data disk. That should come with one focus, okay. Then here, shell parasite. Uh, let's do storm, defend, and uh, you know what? I'll do steam bear just so I can get another zap out. Okay. 18. Um, yeah, it's not looking great. Let's do empty body, dual cast. And then strike and just lucky. Okay. All right, yeah, I have to take a little bit of damage here. Okay. Here I'm intangible. That's good. Uh, probably fine to do all for one. Actually, do I want to enter Wrath? Uh, you know what? Let's risk it, sure. Let's do Crescendo all for one. Okay, and then Steam Barrier just lucky. Uh, strike is fine. Was that a wrong decision? I guess I'll find out. I still have to do 42 damage. Um... All right, I can't trigger that will damage here. Let's do cold snap, strike. Then, no, I think I should be good. Get rid of the regret. Just lucky. And just lucky for a kill. Phew. Okay, that was a little nerve-wracking there, but I was able to kill. Protect, stack, or evaluate. Protect is fine. Yeah, no strong reasons for or against. Stack is getting better and better. Now, let's take that. It's actually upgraded. Might be much better if I draw it in the right turn. Definitely don't want to lose all of my gold. Uh, do I want to... Play Diva form? Probably not. Let's just do Cold Snap and then Zap Defend. Okay. Maybe I should drink some of my potions because I'm basically, yeah, these are all from Act 1 still, right? Most of them. Okay. Oh, I didn't play the Wish in the last fight, which is probably fine. Let's do Talk to the Hand, Double Strike. Um, And you know what? I will keep the Block Potion for later. Let's instead... Yeah, fine. I'll take the damage. I was going to instead drink the energy potion, but then I could only play a strike or a defend, which seems useless. All right. So here I can do storm. 
Uh, actually, this is only 9 block, right? So, wait, 9 plus 4 is 13. Uh, plus the orb. Yeah, I can, I can fully defend if I do buffer, st uh, steam barrier, and stack. Okay. Hmm. Alright, another 19. Omniscience. Probably the wallop. Yeah, let's omniscience the wallop. Uh, here. Okay. Bad I wasn't able to omniscience the wish there. Um, and then we can one of you, and then play the just luckies. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Oh, it doesn't give, give me any block. Alright. One down, another. Oh, right, I'm intangible. Let's play the all for one here. Crescendo would be great next turn. Double damage was wasted, then all for one. And then I can do go for the ice, and then just like it should kill three of them. Yeah. All right, we got a red mask, a savage combat to play one weak to all enemies, a fire push, which I don't think I'll take, and the fragment. I mean, yes, they had a lot of fun with the fragment, right? Let's take it. All right, burden chosen. Uh, again, not happy drawing the wish in the opening hand. Um, I should be greedy though. Let's gain gold here. I could drink an energy potion. Um, fine, fine. I do. I should use. I should be using my potion. So just having a little bit of extra uh, free orb slots would be nice. Okay, another five. Let's do the fragment. Just lucky. All for one is good next turn. Then strike and defend. Okay. Hmm. All right, and then 22 incoming. What would I omniscience here? I could omniscience to talk to the end. That seems like a good idea. Let's do that. Okay. All right, and then a uh, double damage. Oh, that seems silly, but let's do go for the ice. Um, hang on. This guy, yeah, I can get him to the ground, right? By just attacking him twice. Okay, steam barrier is fine. All right. Hmm. 27, that's not good. Um, let's do Empty Body Steam Barrier, Just Lucky. And then Zap. Well, might as well do Storm and then Zap. Okay, now I have a lot of days in my draw pal. Another 15, Defend and Strike. Yeah. Okay, this guy, at least I'm intangible this turn. He was attacking me way too, too much there. Strike and then the orb kills. Wow, that was a tough fight, surprisingly. Charge battery, claw, or hello world. Let's go with the charge battery, even though eh, I guess I have storm. I could go for a power, but no, let's stick with this. And then I decided to go here and then keep left, right, for more crush mark rooms. Okay. All right, book of stabbing will be tough. I do have go for the S for an extra turn of weakness, but um, I think I'll risk playing the um, the block potion here. Not sure if that actually was smart because. That means that that implies that I have a chance of perfecting. I'm not sure if that's true. Let's do talk to the hand. Just lucky. Stack would be great this turn. Uh, all for one would give me back a go for the ice and a just lucky. Plus another three block. I mean, let's give it a try. So all for one. And then go for the ice. Just lucky. Stack again next turn. Yeah, I'm still. Oh, wait. How did I get extra block? Oh, right. The just lucky gave me block too. Okay. So, so far so good. 12 incoming. So I could, again, my go-to is double playing the wallop. Uh, yeah, actually, I can almost fully defend, right? So it doesn't have to be the wallop. It could be something else. But I think wallop is still the best thing. Or storm. Or buffer. Actually, buffer wouldn't be enough, right? Because then I don't put anything in my... Actually, no, this exhaust, so stack won't be enough. Yeah, let's, let's just do the wallop. I think that's a safe choice. Actually, any attack would have been enough. Yeah, I, I overthought that. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Mm, 24. Uh, let's see. So this is 12. And then buffer. See if the buffer was upgraded. Actually, uh, hang on. And then this is another 6. No, it's on only another 5. Uh, Alright, fine. Let's see what this gives me. Um... Yeah, I should throw the weakness potion. Okay, so then I can do charge battery, uh, defend, just lucky. Okay, and then I can do buffer. And the buffer is going to be for next turn. All right. So here I have the buffer. I can actually enter wrath with crescendo. Let's do that. Then do storm, dual cast, uh, just lucky. Okay. And then hopefully I'll have enough, you know what, let's deal 5 damage too, and hopefully I'll have enough to kill next turn. Mm -hmm. 
And yes, all right, perfect this one. Uh, that was painful. We got Ball of Tornado. Pick up, choose a power card. Should I just come with this card in your hand? Let me first pick. Blasphemy is tempting. Lesson learned might be better. Yeah, I don't think I have enough damage for Blasphemy to be worth it. Should I take it and upgrade it? And then I can try to play the Wishes more. Um, Tough decision here. Let's go with the... Let's risk it. Let's go with the Blasphemy. And then Bottle Tornado allows me to put... Well, I can upgrade the Storm. I think Buffer in the opening hand would be better. Or Deva form? No, let's go with the Buffer. Okay. Alright, uh, here I probably should go for the Special Relic. Mutagenic Strength. Uh, Sorry, combo 3 Strength at the end of your first turn. Lose 3 Strength again. Just because the Transform might give me something I don't want. Alright, got these Slavers here. So, I mean, it's nice to have Buffer in the opening hand. It's just too bad I can't really use it. Um to fully defend yeah nothing i can do i mean it will save me nine hp but that's pretty much it let's do talk to the hand and uh yeah that's pretty much it right so just buffer and defend yeah, mm. yeah good thing i do have the fear in the bottle because i'm a little worried about dying here so 27 incoming uh let's wish for plated arm in this case and then dual cast Okay, just lucky. Bolt snap is fine. Um, I have not even checked if I'm dead yet, but I guess I have a fear in the bottle if I am. Oh no, I'm definitely dead. Okay. All right, back to 22 HP, but now I'm also vulnerable, which makes things harder. Uh, so can I kill the backliner? 12, 15. Not even with the go for the ice. Wow. All right. Uh, that's not good. Um, let's do. Cold snap, go for the ice. Just lucky. And then strike. Okay, so um, hang on. I have 29 incoming. Well, at least I'm not dead this time. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, let's do... Yeah, wallop is nice. Too bad I'm weakened. Uh, let's do just lucky to kill this guy. The barrier is good. And then I'll do wallop. I don't think I can trigger double damage, right? And then I'll do strike and defend. Yeah. Okay. Still alive. Not doing great. Hmm. And then 14. So here I can do charge battery plus 4 is 11. So I have to play a defend, zap, and strike. What is going on here? I perfected the uh, Book of Stabbing, but I'm pretty much dying here. Uh, okay, there's the omniscience. I think that might have been a problem that was at the very bottom. Um, let's do just lucky and then all for one. Double damage, okay. Wow, alright. I think this should change things. Actually, let's get rid of the stack because it's going to be pretty useless next turn. And probably don't the last me either. Okay. And then, uh, oh, right. And then if I had, if I had realized I was going to do this, um, I can't omniscience anything. That's fine. Seven, uh, let's do go for the ice, just lucky, and then um, I can fully defend, and then I should be able to kill next turn. Actually, the orb will kill next turn. Okay, that was that was really rough. We got strawberry, I can pick up Razor Max should be by seven, as well as I don't really retain anything, right? I don't produce that many cards. Let's go with the brilliance. I am seriously worrying I might die here, which would explain why everybody else got a really low score, too, right? I mean, well, let's see what I get here. Anchor, so I just come with 10 block, okay. And then here, Book of Stabbing again. Let's see if I can do slightly better here. So let's start off with Buffer. Then Double Strike. Okay, one of those double damage, okay. All right, luckily there's a big attack, so I have the buffer for that. That's great. Uh, let's do Strike, Strike, Just Lucky. Go for the SS Fine next turn and wait. Okay. 18 so go for the ice and then well I can only block for actually I can fully defend here if I drink the essence of sea which I probably should and then let's do the fragment or not the defragment diva form yeah. all right so here I'm intangible very lucky what kind of omniscience I could omniscience the wish for plated armor I think that might be my only way of surviving this one so let's do that I'm not even gonna wish for gold here I feel I might need all the plated armor I can get. All right, and then just lucky, get rid of the regret. Perfect timing. 
and then defend. Right. Twenty one again. Let's do cold snap, just lucky, brilliance, defend, and empty body. Okay. And then I have double damage. Thirty. Yeah, probably has to be the all for one. Let's do that. Okay, and then go for the ass, just lucky. Again. One more time. And one more time. Actually, I should have, I could have just killed with the, uh, if I entered Wrath, right? That might have been my mistake. It's okay. Actually, I could have killed if I played another power, another skill as well, but fine. I guess I can just kill this way. Okay. We got Smiley Mask. The Merchant's Card Room is always, now always cost 50 gold, as well as... Don't really want to take another day of form. I kind of want to take a fish and try to get it upgraded. But now I don't have any potion. Duplicate a card in your deck. I wonder if I should... Actually, that should definitely be the omniscience, right? Yeah, yeah, then I can hopefully get a good omniscience chain going. Right, good. The Gremlin Leader is one that I have a chance on, especially if I don't get attacked. Uh, let's see. So let's do buffer, strike, and then I think I'll do charge battery for extra energy next turn. Okay, I've done a zap instead, maybe. All right, unfortunately, I won't be intangible the right turn. I'll be intangible the wrong turn, which is a turn after this. So, um, hang on, what to do here? Definitely weaken the back line, all right? Can't even get through the block on this guy, right? Oh, wow. Um, I think I'm alive with one HP, which means that if I draw the um, the regret, I'll be dead. Okay, good. That's that's a good sign. Brilliant. It doesn't make any sense to attack him, but yeah, let's attack this guy. I think I calculated this right, right? Yeah, I'll get two hits from the backliner because of the buffer. Okay. Now I'm intangible. Not that it really matters too much, but fine. Let's do just lucky to kill this guy. Empty body is fine. Then strike. And then I'll, I'll stop here. Okay. And now he is attacking for way more. Uh, let's see. Any chance I have. So I can double omniscience. So what would I double omniscience though? So wallop might be something. I don't think I can do. Can I do blasphemy here? I think that might be my only hope. I do have all for one. It'll give me a few just luckies. But nothing near enough to deal 100 damage. Anything else I can omniscience. Um, I could omniscience. Hang on. Let me try. If I Well, if I do wallop. Um, so that'll be 27 damage, right? Uh, so if it hits this guy, it'll be just five block and then it hits this guy, it'll be another 20. So the 25 plus another three. So that's 27. I need 36. Oh, actually, wait, that assumes that I'm in, in, um, in the divinity stance, which I cannot guarantee that I will be. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, s well, I'm too lazy to do the calculation. So let's just play it. Yeah, let's just play it. So I'll do omniscience. The omniscience, then omniscience, the um, blasphemy, and then the wallop. That's the most damage, right? There's no, nothing better there. Okay. All right. So. Okay. Actually, both hits this guy. Okay. That helps me. Um, let's do just lucky. Uh, stack is, I mean, it doesn't matter. And then I can do all for one. Okay. Oh, look at that. I think this might work. Just lucky, yeah, each, each of the just lucky hits as well. Did I just... No, wait, I didn't perfect. I almost died here too. Okay. Phew. All right. Down to one HP again, which is really problematic if you have regret. We got white beast statue potions always appear in combat rewards as well as a fire potion. And yeah, I'll take a seek. Might be good. Um, I mean, I just have to kill this guy before I draw the regret, right? Uh-oh. A little worried about drawing that regret. Um, so let's do buffer... And then defend. Oh, this is this is gonna be rough. Mm -hmm. And then sixteen. So I can double omniscience again. I think this time I'll do wallop without. Wait, hang on. Huh. Should I do blasphemy again? So um, if the first wallop hits, it'll be twenty-seven again, right? So it'll hit the backliner. Actually, it'll be double damage. If the double damage hits the backliner, then this guy will get twenty-seven. So minus 14, that's going to be 15, and then I'll need another 53. Divide that by 3, it's about uh, 18. Um, so that's 7, that's 6, that's 13, plus the orbs. Might be enough. Uh, and I have a fire potion, let's give it a try. So let's omniscience the omniscience, 
Then Blasphemy. I'm really glad I took the Blasphemy, actually. I think... I mean, it's a sort of, like, all-or-nothing sort of card, but uh, I think without it, I'll be in a bad spot. And I got lucky with the hits. Awesome. All right, can't complain. We got a Weakness Potion, as well as Sands of Time, Leap, or Conclude. I think Conclude is pretty good. Sands of Time might be great, too, because then I can omniscience it. Yeah, for a lot of damage, let's take it. And then... Okay, good. We got Gambling Chip at the start of each combat. Discard any number of cards and then draw that many cards. All right. Sama, I'm still alive. Let's rest. Okay, 25 is definitely better than 1 HP. All right, so right of... Oh, I can get rid of the Regret. Okay, can I keep the buffer until uh, the big attack? Seems unlikely, but I mean, obviously I'm going to give it a try. Probably don't need the Crescendo. Um, and don't need the Steam Barrier. Probably don't need Strike either. Okay. All right, so let's do buffer, zap, strike, and just lucky. Stack is fine, actually. Might give me some block next turn. Okay. All right, so that's a bunch incoming, and I don't think I can fully defend, right? Without losing my buffer, of course. So 22, I only have 517. Anything else I can do? Not really. I'm intangible next turn, which is sadly useless. All right, fine. In that case, uh, let's do... Can I do Deva form? 11, but then I'll actually lose HP, not just my buffer. Fine, let's do let's do defend, strike, and then stack. Okay, so I'm not taking any damage, but I am losing my buffer. Which means I have no idea what I'm going to do in the big attack turn. Alright, so here let's do... Oh, I can't even do talk to the end to this guy. Uh, Alright, let's do talk to the end you. What did this guy take? Fission. Yeah, that's fine. You can have Fission. Then just lucky. Uh, actually, let's get rid of this just lucky so I can get it back with the all for one. Alright. And then just lucky again. Uh, defend I might need next turn. Let's actually target the... Well, double damage. Uh, let's do cold snap. Okay, and then uh, yeah, I'll target this guy and then the backliner. Okay. Um, yeah, this is fine. Okay, this guy took Wish. At least nobody took Omnisciences. 28. I could seek the Omnisciences, but what would I Omniscience? I could Omniscience the Wallop again. Yeah, I mean, if it hits this guy, I'll be in trouble. You know what? Let me throw the Fire Potion, just so that in case I do hit the Frontliner with the Omniscience, I can at least gain some block out of it. So let's do the Omniscience, and then I'll... I think I'll double play the... Should I do Wallop and Defragment? Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good idea. So wallop first and then the fragment. Okay. All right. Okay, so that is good. And then I can do, hang on. So I have 23, I need 28, right? So I can do a defend, defensive card here. Uh, let's do just, well, actually, this will give me a wish, right? Um, let's do defend and then just lucky you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to do next turn. Let's do Brilliance, go for the ice, charge battery, empty body. Not sure why I did that, but fine. Okay. All right, 51 damage. Uh, what can I do? Nothing really, right? Um, yeah, let's do, I mean, Brilliance, just lucky. It's just probably not necessary. Hold snap. Okay, just lucky again, and uh, defend, and that's the best I can do. Even if I, actually no, if I was able to weaken, it would drop down to like 40 something, right? And right now I have 30, 43, 44 I mean. I think if I was able to weaken, that would be enough. Since I exhausted any way of surviving, I will reload this, but I am honestly a little confused as to what I can do here. So, um, hmm. Let's try one more time. I think the key is to hang on to the buffer. Should I maybe try to get rid of the buffer and play it at the end? That might be the right, the better approach. Let's try that. Let's try that. Okay, so um, let's do just lucky. Get rid of every card so I can get to the buffer faster. I think that's the only other hope. I mean, obviously, it's impossible to predict. Let's play this for five extra damage. It's impossible to predict at the beginning, but I think that might be a better idea. I wonder if the other form would be the right approach too. Um, so let me do, yeah, let's do Deva form and then, uh, let's get a Frost Drop out. Okay. All right. 
Taking a bunch of damage here. Okay. Alright, nobody is attacking me in the turn where I'm intangible, of course. Uh, let's do dual cast. Just lucky. Probably don't need storm. Just lucky again. Oh, seek is fine. I'll keep the seek. Then actually, I could have. Uh, that was silly. I should have discarded it and I would have drawn it with the all for one. Didn't think of that. Alright, just lucky again. Uh, well, now it's too late. Just lucky. Double damage wasted there a little bit. Okay. And then, uh, I, you know what, let's do Defend and Seam Beard just again to deal 5 damage to all enemies there. Okay. Oh, this guy took the Seek, well, it's a little harder. 28. So, again, I can Omniscience the Wallop, right? Actually, wait, should I Omniscience the Wish? So if, I, if I Omniscience the Wish, I'll be 12 Plated Armor. I need 28 this turn. Um, actually, go for the SS Great Timing here. More or less. Um... So, if I do that, and then uh, Wallop, hopefully will be that'll be enough. Let me throw the Fire Push in just in case Wallop hits this guy. Yeah, okay. So, Omniscience, the Omniscience, then Omniscience, the Wish for the... Oh, and then the Wallop. So, the Wish would give me the Plated Armor. Okay. And then Wallop would give me... Um, I was not... I thought it would be more block, but fine. So then I can kill this guy with the Just Lucky. Brilliance. And then uh, Fission. Do I want to do Fission? Uh, it would allow me to seek something, but I wouldn't even be sure what to seek. No, I don't think I'll do Fission. Let's just kill this guy. I mean, I still want to seek. Um, probably the Defragment, right? I think that's fine. Oh, that was the wrong card to click. Okay, fine, fine. I think I should be okay. Basically, now I just need to draw some way to get rid of the artifact, and then ideally the buffer in the right turn. That would be... That would be the ideal. Let's do the Fragment, just lucky. Get of this, and then dual cast. Might as well do Sands of Time. And then, uh, yeah, sure. Okay. At 51. Yeah, I needed to draw the buffer here. Or a way to get... Well, even if I got rid of the uh, artifact, I still wouldn't have enough. Even with the weakness, I wouldn't have enough block. Um, let's do this. Stack. Yeah, stack. I mean, stack was not going to help. Okay, Church Battery, Storm, Defend. Yeah, I'm going to try... Hang on. I have 28, 32. Definitely not enough. I'm going to try a few more times, but I, I that might be the end here. So I'll, I'll try this and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So uh, if you can, uh, as you can tell, I was able to get the weakness potion in. And uh, at this point, I got only one wish. Uh, the only difference was I played it slightly differently. The order was a little different. It did, did take me two tries. But yeah, so I'm still technically alive. Still have to deal more than uh, 200 damage. But let's oh, almost 200 damage. Let's see what I should omniscience here. I also was only able to play one omniscience. I, I am considering omniscience a cold snap for the orbs. That is definitely a possibility. I could also do a buffer. Um... Yeah, let's do that. Let's do Storm, Buffer, and then I guess I'll just do a regular Strike. Yeah, I think my biggest mistake is I should have gotten the Incense Bird to a better value, because it is currently not at a good value at all. And look at that, I'm going to lose my Buffer to the Regret. Ooh, that's bad. I think I'm still dead here, right? Yeah, because I'm going to lose the Buffer to the Regret. Even if I didn't lose the Buffer to the Regret, I... Actually, no, if I didn't, I would have been... I would have survived. So hang on, so if I lose the Buffer, I'll... I will have uh, 8... 13 plus 6 is uh, 19. So if I'm not mistaken, I should be alive with 1 HP here, right? Uh, 14. Yes, 1 HP. All right. Okay. Okay. This is this is stressful. Let's see. So I can seek something, right? I didn't play a seek previously. Um, what would I seek? Oh, actually, well, no, hang on. I can't reshuffle, so I can't even seek anything. Great. Double damage strike. Just lucky. Um, double strike or one strike. Uh, okay. I don't know what I have to draw to be able to survive this 32 incoming. Uh, well, stack would have helped in a slightly different situation. No, I don't think, I think I tried really hard. I don't think there's anything I can do here. Um, yeah, fine. I think I'll give up here. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's okay. Um, so where did I go wrong? Uh, honestly, hard to say. Maybe in this, I mean, I was throughout basically the last few fights, I was in so low HP that it was hard, but I, I should have gotten the instant burn to a better value. I think that was really the key. Where did I lose so much HP? Maybe the problem was my deck. Yeah, I think I might have been, maybe the omniscience's were a little too premature. Because I picked one up when I wasn't even able to play it. Maybe instead, I don't know, I should have focused on something else. Yeah, I think this this does just not go the way... Actually, the only reason I survived as long as I did is because I had Blasphemy and I was able to basically kill uh, as I was dying. Uh, but I was able to kill before I died. So, yeah, yeah, ultimately this is tough. Um, I think what I'll do is... Um, yeah, I, I, uh, yeah I, I'll just give up here. I don't think... I mean, I could replay this and do things slightly differently, but at this point I don't think that'll, that'll be any use. So, yeah, I guess... I'm um, continuing the trend of one day playing really well and then the next day not playing, well, not even surviving, but what can you do here? So I was able to perfect two out of the four or eight elites so far and only got the Act Bomb Boss. Um, and yeah, just one collector bonuses. I think point, point wise, even if I had somewhat survived, it would not be that great. 501. Let's see where others stand, though. I hope that other people were able to get a higher score. Oh, I see Steven up here with 13-14. Well, that means he was able to to fight and win. So congratulations. I'm really curious to see what uh, how that happened. I am assuming just a completely different card synergy. I also see Ignatia, 11-30-92. That does look like a victory, but then maybe not as many perfected elites and bosses. Um, and then where am I? Probably very far back. Yeah, 363rd. Okay, I mean, that's what I get for not surviving, right? Uh, this was definitely a tough one. Um, I think it was a tough one because I think if you try to maximize points, which is sort of what I do, it's not going to work out. So I think the key was not to focus on the omniscience. That's the only thing I can think of that would have possibly saved me. Um, I am curious to see uh, what... Yeah, let me know in the comments if you have some other way of winning. I will also, to not leave you dissatisfied, because this is a short video, uh, I think I, I was uh, playing a new game over the weekend, so I'll upload it right after this video, so it'll probably be in the description somewhere, or on the video somewhere here. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, or how you played, and uh, hopefully it'll go better tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.